Alright, so we're looking for numbers that multiply to make 7 and add to 8. So multiply to make 7 and add to 8 will be a positive 7 and a positive 1. 7 times 1 is 7, 7 plus 1 is 8. You can always check this by foiling it. This is our answer, but factoring is just foiling or expanding uh, backwards. So if you were to check it uh, by foiling this guy out, uh, you would get b squared plus the b plus the 7b plus the 7, and so that's b squared plus 8b plus 7. So that's why it was so important that they add to that 8b because of those middle terms. So everything we learn to do forward, we learn to do backwards, and the first way is usually easier for us. In, so, But this way is not so bad. So now, again, we got to multiply to make uh, negative 90 add to 1. So I'm thinking a positive 10 and a negative 9. Multiply to make negative 90, and then 10 plus negative 9 is positive 1. So this will be m plus 10 times m minus 9. We do it again. So multiply to make 9, add to negative 10. I'm thinking a 9 and a negative a negative 9 and a negative 1. Negative 9 times negative 1 is positive 9. Negative 9 plus negative 1 is negative 10. So this will be n minus 9, n minus 1. We do it again. Multiply to negative 24, add to 2. I'm thinking a 6 and a negative 4. Multiplies to negative 24, adds to 2. So that'll be m plus 6, m minus 4. We do it again. Multiplies to make 40, adds to negative 13. I'm thinking a minus 8 and a minus 5. So uh, multiplies negative 8 times negative 5 will give me a positive 40. Negative 8 plus negative 5 gives me a negative 13. So k minus 8 times k minus 5. One last time. Multiplies to make negative 56, adds to make negative 1. A negative 8 and a positive 7. So that's n minus 8, n minus plus 7. There you go.